everyone, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Cree. I'm in this trade right now. It's pennies for breaking the low of the day. It's going to do it right now. Right now it's going to break the low of the day. As I'm in this right now reviewing this trade, it's going to break the low of the day. I knew it was going to break the low of the day. I actually am in this entire position from the morning and it had a big rally back and the rally back happened so fast. I didn't, I was going to get out of half of it over a certain number and then it just pushed back so fast I said that's it I'm just staying with the whole thing I did I stay with the whole thing I'm in this whole trade I really had a lot of conviction in this conviction helps you trade I can't trade without it and when I don't take a trade it's because I don't have conviction in it so if you don't know what conviction is you don't have conviction in your trades I don't think you should be trading because I don't think anyone should risk money if they don't have conviction in what they're doing I have conviction and I'm actually giving people conviction which is a nice thing so Let's just see if this breaks here, though. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I held this whole thing. Here, here, it's going to break. 51 is the number, though, that it has to go through to go gymungously. So under 51, which I this is too early not to break 51. This is going to break 51. It is going to break 51. It's too early to this to be happening. If this was happening at 51-ish around noon, I would say 51 is the number, but this is too early. This is it. This is going to break 51. If this stock breaks 51 today for the target, it'll go in the 40s. It'll have a 4 in front of it somewhere. Here it goes. Here it goes on the low of the day. This is way too early. This is actually going to break 51 now. It's 45 minutes till noon. If it would be happening and hitting 51 at major reversal time, I'd say that was it. But no, 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 no. This is going to break 51 now. And 51's a number. If it breaks 51, it's going to get down to 50 and break 50. It's going to run, run like the Dickens. <gasps> Here it is. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I held this whole thing. I deserve an award for this today. Cruiser said I showed my genius today in this. I said, what do you mean? He said, because I'm holding it. I didn't realize people thought of me holding stocks as genius. I thought that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> the genius is really in finding this gap when there's 20,000 gaps this morning. And there was a lot of gaps to do. To pick this one and stick on it and stay with it and get the perfect entry and do it all right is, is the genius to me to, to, to find the gap and know to do it right. Here it goes. It just broke the low. There it is. Look at that. Pushing, 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 pushing. Let me quickly look at more here. Market's going to break the low too. We're making an attempt at breaking the low. Spy is going to make an attempt at breaking the low from yesterday and it hasn't done it yet. Q's already did that. Q's target is 86. If it breaks the low of today's bar, target's 86. And then if the spy breaks the low from yesterday, it will run red and go down to 186. And that all will definitely help this thing fall off a planet, although it doesn't even need it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see where this goes. All right, let's go over the entry why this is doing it. Actually, I have to pay attention here. I don't even know about any of this. Okay, so the stock rallied. This is a hole. This counts. Went over the high of the day by not by much. It counts. Beautiful entry here right on the money. Right on the money here, right exactly at 91. 5291 is the entry, an absolutely perfect entry. It came down in here. This was a four hour trade in here. And I actually was thinking about getting out of half of it here around 82, 85 ish. I didn't. And, and it just moved so fast. It wasn't like I was slow or something. It was just, it went poo. And then I was like, okay. A lot of people got out of the whole trade here or half of it or something. And then I was like, well, I'm going to be patient. I didn't even lower the stop. I stayed with the whole thing. It even had an ad, which I did not do. Wait, hold on. 16. No, nope, I'm going to stay with this. But you could have just got out of some of that there. 5163, 5160. Well, I'm gonna stay with it. I, I I'm not taking any off here. But you could you could just take some off here. This is some covering that just happened here. Time of the day is eleven fifteen. All right. So, anyways, you could have been done for the day at ten o'clock on this trade. I truly believe this thing falls off a planet today, and the market is not against us. And it's not like we need the market to help us with this, but the market isn't against us in this today. And I love the gap. And what it needs to keep going to get down to 51, to break 51, to keep going, to have a bigger number, to really fall off the planet is it needs 
more selling. And the stock has not even gone $2 extension on the day, and this certainly can. I mean, this absolutely can go way more than it's gone today. So I'm looking for a big number in this because the stock normally can trade a big number. It is the day of the gap, and it's a really, really, really good gap. I have a lot of conviction in this. That's why I've stayed with it. So the ad here, actually, on the five minute was here. Could have done it here at 32. But if I had done this ad, which I didn't, you would have had to lower the stop here. So since I was still in the whole thing, I didn't take this because it would have killed my price because I have such a good price in this. I mean, I just can't have a better price in this. So here's some covering here at 11.15 reversal time. Let's look at the market. I'm not getting out of any of it now. I'm staying with it. So it just did break the low of the day, but only a couple of pennies. Again, it's an area on the daily chart. I see in the daily chart that area that it's that it touched on this morning and just touched on again, but I don't believe it holds a start up today. I don't I don't believe it holds it up at all. So I'm staying with the trade. I'm staying with the trade to see if it breaks 51. If it breaks 51, it's gonna fall off a planet, so it's worth finding out. Here, hold on. This thing is wild. I'm going to blow it up here. Yep, it's going to keep going. 60, 60, and, and again, I don't think this holds. If this breaks 51, it's absolutely going to collapse. I mean, that's the reason to hold this here. And no matter what, I, I, this is a great trade at this point. I mean, I'm up $1.30 plus in this trade right now. So, and I haven't lowered the stop yet, although I could do that. Here it goes. Here's the move. Here's what I wanted to see. I'm waiting to see some fat, huge, massive red bars on the five minute. I want big, fat red bars, huge, massive red bars on the five minute chart. That's what I'm looking for. And the stock hasn't done it yet. It hasn't had any fat, huge, massive bars on the one, the two, or the five. It's had red bars, but it hasn't had big, huge fatties. And that's what I want to see. You know? So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. We'll see how Cree ends up here today. I'm staying with it. I'm sticking with it. We'll see where it goes. Good luck, everyone that's still in it. Some people have the conviction, too, to stay with this. We'll see what it does. This is the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day Cree. I did a video last night and said I was going to do it today. It was a great gap, and it was. Beautiful, highly rated Golden Gap. The Golden Gap class is this weekend. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, April 26th and 27th. If anyone is interested in the class or signing up, I still have spots left. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.